So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different functions of the skeleton. And the first function we're going to talk about is support. And so the skeleton supports the body, supports muscles, and the mandible and maxilla, which are bones in your face, support the teeth. So support is one function. The next function of the skeleton is for protection. So for example, bones protect vital organs and organ systems. So for example, your skull protects your brain, your spinal cord protects your spine, and then your heart and lungs are protected by your rib cage. So that's protection. The next function of skeleton is movement. And so the action of muscle, so essentially muscle acting on bone, generates limb movement and in addition helps with breathing. One quick thing I want to mention is that we have what's known as an endoskeleton. So it's located on the inside. An exoskeleton is a skeleton located on the outside of the body. And so the next function we're going to talk about is electrolyte balance. And so the skeleton functions helps with electrolyte balance. And so what it does is the bones store calcium and phosphate ions as crystals. And then they release these ions whenever the body is low on these ions. And so it helps regulate the electrolytes in the body because of that. So remember, key thing, bones store calcium and phosphate ions. The skeleton also functions with acid-base balance. And so what this does is the bones or skeleton buffers the blood against excessive pH changes. And so what the bone does is it can either absorb or release alkaline salts, for example, calcium phosphate or calcium carbonate, to essentially regulate the pH and make sure it doesn't get too far away from the ideal. And then finally, probably the most important function of the skeleton is blood formation. And so the bone marrow makes red and white blood cells. And so those are the functions of the skeleton. And so just to recap, the skeleton helps with support, protection, movement, electrolyte balance, acid-base balance, and blood formation. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.